Stan. Stan. Settle down. We're not gonna hurt you yet. Shut up, Stan! Shut up! Now, Stan, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions and I urge you to answer them correctly. Do you think you can do that for me? Question one. Where's the safe, Stan? Where's the safe? My name isn't Stan. My name is Carl. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, I, I promise I won't tell anybody if you just please let me go. I, I don't want to die. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut, shut him. Shut, shut him. Shut, Sh we're talking upstairs. Shut him up. What are you... to grab a short, bald guy. He wasn't bald! He had a full head of beautiful hair! They look like plugs or something. Beautiful? You guys have fucked me for the last time. <laughs> Honestly. I organized this whole thing. I got the, I got the mark. I, I, I map quested his house. I figured it all out. How did you fuck this up? Well, maybe if you had come along for the kidnap, we wouldn't be in this mess. I had a prior obligation, and I cleared that with both you guys. And, and, and what's so important that you can't come along on a kidnap? I only get Tommy every other weekend. I can't just tell him, like, hey, 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 sorry, Tommy. Daddy can't take you to Nickelodeon Universe. Daddy can't see your softball game. Can't be there for your birthday because Daddy's got to go kidnap someone who isn't even the person we wanted to. So let me get this straight. You scheduled a kidnapping on your weekend with your kid? So not only are you a poor criminal, but you're a bad part-time father. It was a leap year! It was a leap year! The weekends went overlapped and I got lost! I'm sorry! Do I have to pay penance to you and you and my ex-wife? You're yelling at the wrong people, you know. I'm yelling at just the right people. You're projecting other stuff onto us. Oh, get out of my head, Ted. Get out of my head. Who's Carl? Ted? Who's Carl? Stan. Carl is Stan. Carl Stan. Except Stan has a bank account balance of around $32 million. And Carl? Carl clocks in just under 128. $128. That's about 1% of what the original plan was. Would you stop referring to the wallet to make a point? All right? It's getting a bit old, and you're making me feel really bad about this. So you know what? You guys just take care of this yourself, and screw this, and screw you guys. It's going to be really funny when he comes right back in. And wants his cut of that $127. $127.68, yeah. Mm. Bet a dollar. That was a really good friend of mine. I never bet a dollar. It's a shame because it's really easy to lowball him when the other person's an idiot. 
I wasn't very fair with him right there, was I? I was kind of just yelling at him for everything, wasn't I? I? I've never seen a toaster that cost $80. I don't know how they were supposed to get that. And, and Ted got history, I and mean, I can't just scream at him because I can get, make it work with Andrea, you know? You want to get drunk? No, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna get drunk. Your kid calls, where should I tell him you are? I mean, I don't know what his problem is. Uh, he makes all the mistakes and then he, he blames me. I, mean, I did the best that I could. I mean, how was I supposed to know if I had the right guy or not? I mean, he didn't even give me a picture. He just told me, he described him as a, a short balding guy. You know how many short balding guys there are? Millions. I mean, there, there are millions. Would you like some milk, Teddy? <laughs> Dear, I think you need to go back there. <laughs> but I, I can't go back there. These people are your friends. I don't really like Kevin much. All right, but the other one is, and you don't back out on your friends, no matter how stupid, idiotic, or incompetent they are. You're right. You're right. Of course I'm right. I'm smarter than you are. <laughs> Smartest woman I know. I'm going to go watch my programs now. Now you go and release that man, and you go kidnap the right man. Yeah. And lock the door on your way out. Love you, dear. Love you too, Mom! Mom's right. I need to finish what I started. Alright, guys. I have decided not to abandon you. Showcase. Okay. Here's a role here our very first contestant from Canada. The champ Shit. Where's Carl? Carl who? I think this would be a nice Are you kidding? I'm sorry. Carl whom? The guy! The guy in the basement. What about him? Where is he? In the basement? No, he's not. Hmm. So he's not down? No, nope, he's not there. Is Stan still down in the deal? Take the deal. They never take the deal. They'd make a lot more if they took the deal. Cowards. That's what's wrong with this generation. Cowards and layabouts. You fucking idiot. See? You're taking the deal. We would be to be friends with Howie. Didn't though. Cops are here. What's wrong with your gun? We're not going to jail. I am prepared to die. Yeah, because these shootouts with criminals and cops at the criminal's house usually works out well. Ooh, problem. I'm not going to jail! 